Hey everyone, welcome back. You may have seen some prior videos of the Dell Latitude E6230 and how it performs when it comes to gaming. So what I want to do is I want to upgrade the hard drive since it's currently sitting at 240 gigabytes. It is an SSD, but it is pretty old. I would say it's about four or five years old now. Even though the SSD is faster than a regular mechanical hard drive, it does have its downside. And that would be the amount of space that it carries. So today we're going to double that space. We recently purchased a Kodak SSD. Yep, a Kodak SSD. I've seen them online for a while and from the very beginning I had a suspicion that Kodak doesn't manufacture these storage devices, at least not internal hard drives. Even the drive itself does have a typo on it. You can see that it's a SAT hard drive and not a SATA hard drive. Now could a mistake like this on the outside be a warning to what's on the inside? Well, I couldn't really find much information on this hard drive online. All the retailers basically just copied and pasted their information from the CodecFlash.com website. Here, there's not much information aside from this PDF spec sheet that you're able to download on your end. Trying to find more information, I came across a different brand hard drive from a company called Mtech. I did find a PDF document on their site as well, listing some specs and information on their SSDs, and I'm seeing a lot of similarities between this document and the one from the Kodak website. So I'm going to assume that Mtech makes the drive, but you know who knows for sure, and that Kodak just puts their name on it. Anyways, it's not a huge loss if the drive doesn't last. I mean, it does come with a three-year warranty, which is pretty average for most SSDs out there. The advertised read and write speeds for this drive are pretty decent as well. So let's jump in and swap out the drive inside this laptop. The first step is to remove the old drive. Pretty simple process overall. Then I will mirror the data from the crucial drive over to the Kodak SSD. I don't want to really reinstall all the software and Windows updates, so that's why I'm just going to clone the drive. And I will be using this dual bay hard drive dock, which I got from Amazon for about $21.70 before taxes. I've always wanted one of these docks, and now it's my first chance to try it out. Per the instructions, it says to insert the original drive into slot A and the new drive into slot B. Plug in the power adapter, but do not connect the dock via the USB cable to the computer. Turn the dock on, then hold down the clone button for about a few seconds until it lights up, then go ahead and press it just one more time. At first I thought this wasn't working since none of the lights were actually lighting up at the time. I was thinking that it could be either a bad dock or a bad SSD since this is my first time actually using both of these two items. But I waited, and after about a few minutes, the 25% and the 50% lights lit up. It was a little odd, so I just kind of let it do its thing anyways, and I would say that it took about 15 to 20 minutes to clone the entire drive. With that, let's go ahead and install this new drive into the laptop. When first booting up, I did get a blue screen of death, but then I kind of let Windows deal with it and see if it would restart fine on the next one, like just to just let it restart and see, hopefully, you know, hoping everything is okay. And I would say it did, it worked out. On the second restart, it went into Windows and everything was fine. So then we're gonna go into File Explorer just to see if everything looks fine on there, which it does. And then we're gonna go into Disk Manager to see if it does recognize the unallocated space on this new drive. It should be about 220 or so gigabytes. And it does, so everything's good to go. Now at first, I was thinking about just, you know, partitioning that second section or that unallocated space as a separate drive on this system. Yeah, you know, just kind of like, you know, for storage space, but I'm thinking, nah, let's just go ahead and e extend the whole entire uh, C drive to use up the whole, you know, all that space on that on that SSD. Now with Disk Manager, it didn't allow me to go ahead and do that. And there are ways where you can right click on the C drive partition and click extend, but in this case, it was grayed out. So to be able to use the entire unallocated space for the uh, C drive, we're going to be using a free program called Mini Tool Partition. I will leave a link in the description for that. Now with that taken care of and out of the way, we can see that the C drive is now using all of that space on this SSD for an 80 gigabytes total. Of course with the partition it's a little bit less, but you know what I mean. So let's go ahead and run some benchmarks and see how this drive performs. 
The read and write speeds are satisfactory in my opinion. I'm not sure how long this drive will last, which is why I'm sticking it into this laptop, but it's not bad for $42.04 after taxes. I am glad that the prices for SSDs have gone down by quite a bit in the past few years. So that's about it. In the meantime, I do want to thank you for watching. Take care and have a great day.